Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stay behind the scenes during the Jubilee. We've got all the details in today's Us Daily. While the couple stepped out for their first joint appearance with members of the royal family at St. Paul's Cathedral, they were noticeably absent from the rest of the Jubilee celebrations. A source tells us Harry and Meghan could have gone to the party at the palace, but decided to keep a low profile on Lilibet's birthday and celebrate in private. The couple's daughter celebrated her first birthday with the royal family, with a source telling Us Weekly that Harry and Meghan visited the Queen at Windsor Castle with Lilibet and Archie. Now, the it came after Queen Elizabeth canceled several Jubilee events, with an insider telling us after reluctantly pulling out of the party at the palace, spending time with her great-grandchildren and seeing Lilibet turn one added some light to her day. She thinks they're adorable and gave Lily and Archie gifts. The Queen did enjoy the Trooping of the Color celebration on June 2nd, but bowed out of several other events due to discomfort. Though she made a pre-taped appearance with Paddington Bear at the star-studded concert on June 4th, the Sovereign did not attend alongside Prince Charles and Prince William, who both made speeches in her honor. The source added that the Queen watched the event on TV and felt so loved and overwhelmed by emotion. She did make a surprise appearance on June 5th, shortly after the Jubilee pageant concluded. The Queen was beaming as she waved to the public from the Buckingham Palace balcony as she celebrated 70 years on the throne. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.